Um, hello, Fastlet community. Hello, guys. Just here to show you what I've done to improve the capabilities of the ESP32 i Square S driver. So we've been reading something uh, which is actually can push to 22 pins in parallel. But the issue is actually it uses almost all your pins for USB32 and if you want to plug like an SD card or something that's not possible anymore. So my idea was to create uh, virtual pins using uh, Swift registers and uh, here is the result. So here it is, so I've got my USB32, I've got a Swift register HC595. Uh, um, so here I've got my data lines, my latch lines and my clock lines going to my um, shift register. So we're gonna have a look at the oscilloscope. So this is the clock and we can see that its speed is actually 14.4 megahertz. If I switch to my latch spin, 2.4 megahertz, which is actually great. That's what I wanted because now if I want to go to my data line, Let's take that and put that here, one of the lines up and let's measure some stuff. We can see that now on the data line, I've got a speed of 800 kilohertz, which is the speed of um, the WS2012. So now what happens? Um, let's see the result here. Here I'm on line two. So here it comes, uh, here is my ESP32, here is my shift register 74HC9595, uh, sorry. Um, and here is my little screen, 256 uh, pixels. I just put that on top, otherwise my camera won't register the picture quite good. So out of my ESP32, uh, I've got the clock line, the latch line and the data line, and the rest actually just to plug the uh, power and the ground. Uh, so what happens out of the single data line here uh, within the um, chief register, I can have five strips. So it's actually a ratio of one to five. So for instance, if I go around the output of my chief register, I move it to one step more and now we have line four and then I've got here line five and the first output is actually in here so it's actually kind of crazy to get it here line one i couldn't get more than um uh, five uh, virtual pins out of one pin uh, because of the reliability of the speed i could push to six uh virtual pins on one pin but it's actually kind of not that uh, accurate anymore on the SP32. Uh, it was only for one pin of the SP32, but you know that we can do parallel push using the i uh, driver. Uh, so I went until 16 um, parallel outputs. And so that's my last pin of my parallel output. Line pin 33 here, and you can see that's line 77 because I've got um, five... Uh, Virtual pins per line, if I go on the last one, I got 80, 16 by five is actually 80. So I'm controlling 80 strips using um, 16 for 16 line for the data and two for the latch and the clock. So it's actually 18 pins out of the SP32 to control 80 pins um, out of my uh, 80 strips. Uh, and I'm pushing all that at the speed of 129 um, FPS. So it's actually more than 20,000 LEDs uh, push at 130 FPS. Uh, of course, you don't need to go that fast, but actually it's really nice. If you want to control, for instance, 20 strips, you you will need uh, four pins for the four pins out of your um, ESP32 plus two. So it's actually six pins to control 20 strips. Now using uh, actually four uh, shift register. So with a bit of electronics for shift registers and six pin, you can control 20 strips. And each time you add one pin, you add five uh, virtual strip. Um, here it is. I uh, hope you will like it. So it's actually like the top of it. It's actually 80,000 uh, LEDs control at uh, 
can be pushed at the speed of 33 fps so now i'm gonna plug that into fastled um i guess with the overhead i will have to decrease the number of pin that i can push in parallel but i will see that later on but i guess it was a nice uh part of uh, sharing that with you guys so here 20,000 pins 20,000 leads push at 130 fps and you can go way faster than that now okay great um talk to you soon with the next step of my driver see you